First tonight at five, we start on a sad note. We're learning more details after a three year old boy died after he fell from the eighth story of this apartment building. Police were called to Independence Towers around 10 a.m. When this crew arrived on scene, they found a child laying face down in the grass. They immediately started uh, life saving procedures. Tonight, police are calling this a death investigation. They're working to figure out exactly what happened inside the apartment before the child fell. Right now, they are not able to confirm whether this was an accident. We want to head out to KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim, who's been at Independence Towers all afternoon, gathering information. And Gian, I understand you even talked with some of the neighbors there. That's right, Caitlin. You know, we found out about the boy's death during an afternoon press conference today, but just before that, I had actual concerned neighbors take me up to their units to show me the lack of safety locks on their windows. This is the view from a 6-4 window at Independence Towers. There are no window locks and no screens. Rayleigh Emberton, who lives in this unit, didn't want to be on camera, but shared her concerns. Not every window came with the little metal lock pieces on them. It is super hot in this building. I can imagine being on the eighth floor. According to the City of Independence, windows on upper levels cannot open more than four inches. But the rule can only be enforced on new buildings or properties that have applied for a permit. The city says the owners of Independence Tower haven't done any remodeling in years. They need to bring the building up to code. Are there any safety barriers at the screen, at the windows? No, there's none. Chanel Ward lives on the eighth floor. That's the floor where a three-year-old boy fell from the window on Monday morning and died from his injuries. With grandkids who visit her often, this is her worst nightmare. Uh, it, it's no words. All I could do is say, wow, I cannot believe that's ha that happened. I, I, I just can't believe it. Several other tenants who live in this building complained about ongoing maintenance issues, plumbing, elevators, roaches, and air conditioning. They say many have no choice but to open the windows for cool air during hot summer days like this. The air, we were in here 100 degree weather outside and didn't even have a plugged up air, like nothing. They offered us a box fan. It, it can be extremely hot. But I make sure that the windows are locked because they are very easily accessible for kids it, you, to just open it. Caitlin, just last month, there was an arson at this exact building displacing 27 families. That lady that you just heard from, she tells me it feels like it's just one thing after another. So much so that maybe she thinks the building should go down completely. Gian Kim, Kiss HB 41 News. Gian, thank you for those updates. This afternoon, we also learned more about Independence Towers issues. A fire official says the past three years, there have been 747 calls for service. That includes police, fire, and EMS. The apartment building has gotten a new owner within just the past two months, and the city says that owner is working with them to fix some issues, but they say all of those fixes will take time.